Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 26 of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Um, a couple of intros I've been doing lately uh, as, as update. I'm also like half sneezing, so that's why I'm like, whatever, a bit. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, so today I, I kind of uh, ran a time trial for myself. Um, uh, 10k just so that I can establish uh, my training pace because uh, guess what I, I am doing the virtual marathon in a, in November which is in about a little bit over 18 weeks maybe a little bit less than 18 weeks I couldn't count so I'm starting my marathon training and I think there's a lot of parallels there right uh, I mean you know I, I talk about this not because I'm bragging about my really slow running uh, so you know but it, because I think a lot of the things that I'm going through now, it reminded me of when I was doing lead code when I was starting out, right? I mean, not lead code back then, but competitive programming when I was starting out and kind of just like remembering all these things. And but the end of it is that because I do find running kind of uh, interesting and fun and challenging in a good way, right? Maybe not a hundred percent because. Uh, when I signed up for the marathon, I was like, oh man, I, I'm so excited. I'm so pumped for the training. And then today when I was, cause I was trying to go as hard as I can so I could figure out what to train the, um, or at what speed to train for the marathon, right? Uh, and, and, and it was just struggle town for about 50 minutes. Uh, so I did 10K about 50 minutes, 50 like, which is not bad considering I've only been running for three months, I think. Uh, so, so yeah, so I was just struggling the entire, and the entire time I was just like, why did I sign up for this? Why, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? So I mean, I, I feel like, you know, a lot of y'all can probably relate to that when you're doing lead code. It's like, okay, it, I, I always say it's fun. I always say it's challenging, but like when you're doing it on a Q4 or like a hard problem on code force and you, you just, you just, your mind is blank because you can't, you just can't figure it out. And you're like, what am I doing? I could be doing anything, you know? So it's the same thing, but, but in the same way, in this, uh, you know, the training is the hard part, right? The marathon itself, with proper training and probably proper racing, uh, you know, it'll probably be fine. But the training is the hard part, and that's the same with lead code, right? When, when you're well prepared, when you well, when you when you put in the work, when you've worked hard long enough, you know, the contest, they, they, you know, they they're not usually the hard part. I mean, yeah, maybe in a moment it, you still struggle, but when you look back, all the hard part is on the training, right? And then that, and so that's one, which, you know, I hope everyone realized, uh, and I need to do a video on this, uh, like a separate one of me walking in New York City, which apparently some people like. Um, and then the second point I think with relating to that is also that, you know, it's kind of cool in a way, right? Because I'm doing a time trial now and it's not quite the same, um, but because, you know, yeah, I can get physically injured. I guess you can also get physically injured in the brain just by or whatever and sometimes you do, and you do get old as you get older which is how getting older works but but you know like uh but after the right after i ran the time trial i was lying on a, on a bench uh just uh probably a little bit dehydrated and just like gasping for air i was like huh okay so i ran the speed or i ran, I ran this time out for the speed or whatever right but this is like in a beautiful kind of way, it is also the worst that I'm ever gonna run, right? Uh, I mean, it's not quite that, but 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 you know what I'm trying to say is that like you know now that I established this level, everything and like if I if I put in more training, if I work hard, everything is just gonna get better, right? Uh, I don't, at least for now. I mean, there is some thing to be said about like if you tr if you work on something for ten years. Uh, like if I, if I have been running for 10 years or something like this, maybe I do hit that uh, genetic peak or whatever, or you know, sometimes, or maybe I get injured or something, right? But in general, like I'm making good, good progress. You know, I, I think most people are able to reach higher, you know, with proper training and also not to mention rest and recovery and nutrition, right? So, the, so I think it's, it's uh, to me, I think it's a beautiful thing. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. But I just think like, yeah, like, and I think the way that I talked about it to my friend is that every time you work hard, every time, you know, whether it's lead code or running or whatever, um, it is just putting a little bit of money in the bank, you know, like, 
yeah, like if I put put in ten dollars in the bank, yeah, maybe it's it, you know, uh, and maybe this is particular to New York because may and if you're younger, the dollar amounts have different things, but it doesn't matter, right? In the sense that, uh, you know, you put in some small amount in into your bank, you know, every day, every week, or whatever, and then next thing you know, there's compound interest, there's all these things, and then years later, you're like, wow, this account really grew because. I took care of it, right? And that's how I think about these things. Is just that every time you go for a workout, it's money in the bank. All right, let's let's actually start to, uh, today's problem. Uh, I feel like these these videos are a little bit vloggy. Uh, let me know in the comments if um, you know it's more interesting, it's less interesting, uh, because I feel like you know every video I have. Or every um, problem, I would probably already have a video. I don't know if I have this one. This is a little bit before when they do the daily problem. But nonetheless, I have a lot of pro videos on a lot of problems. So, you know, so to me, uh, it just feels like more of a daily thing. And you know, as you know, I have, I've been training hard. And people have been asking me a lot about my training. So I'm kind of just giving you here as an update. Anyway, let's finally get started at today's problem. Hopefully, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if it's... If it's not interesting, to enough, or if enough people do not find it interesting, or worse, hate it, then maybe I'll just, you know, do it in a different format. But in any case, today's form is 1382, Balance of Binary Search Tree. Given the root of a binary search tree, return a balanced binary search tree of the same node values. That's, that is, return any of them. A binary search tree is balanced to the depth of the two subtree of every node never differs by more than one. Uh, the reason why I kind of said that uh, I'm like eh, going is that this could be very annoying. I mean, there's there is a reason. I guess you don't have to deal with insertion rules or anything like that. But there's a reason why, you know, there there are a number of trees. There's uh, you know red black trees. There's uh, 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 spray trees. There are there are a number of self balancing trees, and there are uh, all these rules, right? Um, I don't even remember them anymore to be honest. It doesn't really come up that much, uh, though. There, there was one really hard top coder problem that I remember from way back when, uh, and you have to implement a, a part of, it wasn't red black, but it was part of a, a tree that I was not familiar with. But in any case, um, the the good thing is that this is only a one pass, so um, we should be able to do it. Um, okay, so let me think about how, how I want to do it. I mean, I think conceptually, these problems are not super difficult. <clears throat> but I think you know. Uh, I think that that one thing that you um, I think one thing to kind of think about it is that um, is also think about how to implement it in a clean way and fast way and whatever. I I don't know if it's within the spirit of the, this problem to like because I mean I think. If this was a real contest, in the sense that if this was a contest where I'm trying to optimize for my time, or not time complexity, but time solved, I probably would do a little bit of a cheating thing. Uh, and what I mean is that I just do an in order traversal, get all the nodes, and then just reconstruct the tree. Um, because we have a binary search tree, uh, and we talk about invariance a lot in the last couple of days uh, or past week or so. Uh, the thing with binary search tree is that. By definition, there is this property of binary search tree, right? Which is that nodes smaller to the left, nodes greater to the right, so, and we don't have to care about any of them. Then you don't have to like do rotations and or anything too funky. You just have to um, uh, you just have to construct it, right? And you can definitely uh, do do. Um, yeah, and maybe that is the way to do it. Because just traversing the tree will take all of n space, or all of h space if you really, really want to be more precise. So maybe that's fine. I don't know if that's within the spirit of the problem. That's why I'm like hesitating a little bit. But um, are they unique? I guess they don't have to be. Yeah, I mean, I don't know any other good way of doing it. Uh, I mean... Like, I'm trying to think if there's a fun... I mean, I'm sure there's a way to do it such that you can do it in... Uh, 
uh, what you might call it, like um, oh, uh, in one pass. But I feel like that's one of those things that it's just so hard to do it in one pass. Uh, to to do it in one pass correctly, like the ideas for it may not be that bad, but like you could just kind of because I think in that case it just becomes one of those uh, what I call case enumerations. But it always, for me anyway, is is not my strong point, and there's going to be things where I'm going to miss um, miss a case, right? Uh, and miss a lot and then it just also I think for that it's just not that interesting in the sense that you're trying to enumerate all the cases right so the implementation is not super interesting but um, the idea is okay but you have to get so many edge cases or is if you're not practicing them so anyway so okay so I guess the thing that I'm gonna say is that I'm just gonna create an in order traversal and then in order uh, is equal to do 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 right and then here we just do a traverse Traverse, if I could spell it correctly, traverse node, if node is none, we return, otherwise we traverse node.left, this is an order after all, in order.append node.value, traverse, traverse node.right. And I would also say that this is an in order traversal, it's something that everyone should have a very strong grasp on uh, for interviews especially, but you know, for code force obviously, just because it is, uh, uh, it comes up a lot. <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe not a lot, but like just this idea of recursion, but in order, it's just like a little bit on top of that, right? And then now we can uh, recursively um, do, do the balancing part. And this is, is probably what you would think if you have some um, idea, which is just that you take the medium or median, medium, median, middle, <laughs> just take the middle node ish and then just keep on dividing right and that should be good so as long as your math is not that bad i don't know i always worry about all five ones and rounding and stuff like that but yeah um so then now let's just say n is equal to length of in order right and then now we can maybe do a construct so how, how do you want to say it? so yeah yeah uh, just say left and right right and this is just going to be if left is equal to right then we return a new tree node with uh, the value of in order of left, because um, left is equal to right, so it doesn't matter which one. Otherwise, um, mid is equal to left plus right over two. Um, so then now we construct, oh, and I, sometimes I, uh, oh, the other way. Yeah, and then now we can, uh, yeah. Oh, this is the, so then now maybe left uh, mid minus one, it's gonna be your left uh, mid plus one, right is gonna be your right. So then now we want a new tree node. Um, so I don't know, current maybe, is you go to tree node of, um, what's it called? In order of mid. Uh, and I know that you can actually do left, right as just two, the other two parameters, but I think this is a little bit more um, readable. I don't know. And also, it, it lets you uh, control the order because these are recursive functions. I feel like it lets you control the order of them, which for this particular problem doesn't matter as much. But I don't know. It's just, yeah. Uh, and that should be good, hopefully. Maybe I, I'm off by one or something weird, uh, or just not return anything. Uh, hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what's going on. So let's see. We, we're not returning anything for some reason. Okay, so in, or, in order to reverse uh, is wrong. It's not wrong. It's because we never call it. Okay. Uh, let's give it a very sloppy, very, very uh, silly these days. But yeah, uh, today we have a 1548 day streak. And yeah. Uh, what is the complexity here? We kind of talked about it a little bit before we did it. But uh, yeah, this is going to be linear time, lin uh, linear space in order. But you can't get rid of the linear space because the traversal is going to be linear space. Um, you want to narrow it down a little bit. 
well, this is linear time, linear space, uh, but this is uh, linear time uh, over of, uh, linear space as well, because you also uh, construct linear number of nodes, right? Oh, and space, because that's the number of nodes you're doing. Curious what Larry of four years ago did. I guess he did it the same way. I don't know why he's... <laughs> wow, Larry, past Larry. Past Larry was... A, I mean, this part is actually mostly the same, actually. So good job for this part. Either current Larry or past Larry. But this one's a little bit sad, just because I'm like, uh, Larry, is, is, it's already uh, a bad I don't know. Maybe I just missed... Or I didn't read it that it was binary, so true or something. I don't know. Because this is a very weird way of doing it. Otherwise, um, <laughs> this is not an in-order traversal, right? So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Pass Larry, bad pass Larry. But, um, yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.